Kiki. It's good to see you again. I am so excited to be back with another Riley Rose ASMR collaboration. This time, instead of a holiday, we're going to be focusing on positive affirmations. Everybody can use some affirmations. Whether you're doing well, whether you're struggling, or maybe you're just doing okay. Everybody can use affirmations. During this collaboration, I want you to do your best to just stay grounded. Stay grounded by reminding yourself that there's nothing you need to do. Nowhere you need to be. Nothing you need to think about. All you have to do is sit back, lay down, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out, and remind yourself and believe that these affirmations are true for you, and you deserve them. I hope you enjoy. You deserve this. You deserve all of this love. You deserve all these affirmations that are gonna be in this video. You deserve it. You deserve it. You are loved and lovely. You are doing your best. And your best is just good enough. You are good enough. You are unique. You are unique. In the best way possible. You are your own world. Your own flower. Your own galaxy. Growing. Changing. Maybe a little confused confused about where to go, what to do, how to go. You're going to figure it out. You always do. You're going to figure it out because you always do. You can do anything. You can do anything you set your mind to. Because you are strong, you are brave, you are doing the best you can and your best is good enough. You are your own self, your own galaxy, you are beautiful, you are vast, there is so much wonderful beautiful things inside you. Shh. And again, you deserve all of this. You may be your own galaxy, but you also belong here. You belong in this world. You belong and people love having you here. People love you. They love seeing you. They love knowing you. You are appreciated and you deserve to be. There is so much about you to appreciate. And you deserve to appreciate yourself more. You just deserve to appreciate yourself more. And you can. Because you are growing and changing just like a flower. And you are just as beautiful, just as lovely as 
these flowers right here. You are so loved. You are 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 loved. And don't forget that. Don't forget that. You deserve it. You deserve it. And again, you deserve. And again, remember all of the affirmations in this video are for you. All of them. You not only deserve these affirmations, you deserve the other affirmations as well. Hello, friend. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome in. We are so so glad you're here so glad you could join us and we are so happy to be a part of this positive affirmations collab video <laughs> i'm rj this is jules who stands you're seeing over there in the lego world and that's todd the t-rex over on the far end here with all of our lego worlders and all of us want you to know my friend that you are going to be okay. That you're gonna be okay. That things are gonna be alright. We want you to know that you matter. You matter. Your thoughts and your feelings matter. They do. They do. It's okay to be you. It is. <laughs> so excited, so glad to know you, so glad that you exist in the same world with us. You're going to be okay, friend, and it's okay to believe that it's going to be okay. It is. You can do that. You can give yourself a break from any of those other thoughts or feelings, even if it's just for a little bit. Know that it's going to be okay. You matter. And we believe in you. We believe in you and we want you to believe in yourself too, okay? We believe in you. We know you can do it, whatever you may be aspiring towards. that makes you you, all those things that you've done and been through, they make up the fantastic story of you, only you are you, friend, that's why you matter so, so much. so glad that you're here with us. We're here together and we are going to be okay. It's gonna be alright, friend. We hope you enjoyed that. So glad that you could join us and all the other creators. 
Fingers here. Today we've got a big group hug for you here as well. <laughs> and some of our Lego plushy friends going to join us. This is Penny the Astronaut, Shark Suit Lenny, and Jenny the Unicorn. Get on it here, friend. Get on it here. <laughs> Get on it here. Come on in. Come on in. Big, soft, squishy. Squishy, blushy, blushy hugs. <laughs> we love you from everyone here in our Lego world. Small arms, big, squishy, blushy hugs. Much, much love, friend. And we sent you a flower. Boop. Sent you a flower. <laughs> love y'all. Right, bye bye. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Wait, what is that? Oh, sorry. No, nothing. It's just you have something stuck in your hair over here. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look? Okay. No, no, it's not like a bug or something. It's actually I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think it's like something icky. It's just what is that? Oh, I was wondering where you had ventured off to. It's one of my little crystal flowers. See? It's just a little token, I guess, that was given to me by a very kind flora fairy. <laughs> they have a very unique energy to them. It's a good energy, but sometimes they have minds of their own. <laughs> Wait, I think... Actually, I think there might be another one stuck over here. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look? Okay, here, let me just... I'm not pulling your hair at all, am I? Okay, good. Let me know if I'm hurting you. Just want to get this little baby out of here, too. Ah, there you are. Look at that. <laughs> That's weird. I don't normally find that I'm attracted, like, more than one attracted to one person. <laughs> you see these little crystal flowers? They're attracted to good energy and to the purest of souls. So, if there's two of them that are stuck to you, that means they must really like you. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Although they're also often attracted to people who maybe need a little help remembering what a good person they are and what a good soul they have. I'm sorry to hear that. This world has um, its been a lot lately. And not just lately, like for a long time. It's okay to admit that things are hard. But you are also just so incredible. You are capable of doing hard things. And even when things have gotten hard, you've never given up. You continue to grow and learn and not let this world knock you down. It's something I really appreciate about you. And it's okay to also take time to rest. You know, it's like flowers. They don't bloom all the time. They have seasons where they bloom and they grow and they spread their seeds to the rest of the world. And then they have times where they lie dormant. But they know that they can't just bloom all the time. <laughs> they know that they need seasons of growth and also seasons of rest. Nature is an incredible reminder that we can't just all be go, go, go all the time. We're not machines. We're not meant to be productive and efficient and all of these things all the time. We are living, breathing, growing creatures. And as such, we have times where we grow a lot and then sometimes where maybe we feel like we don't grow as much but we're still growing. We're still living the process of life. We're a work in progress, always. So I think my little flowers mean that maybe you needed to hear that today. Well, I hope that that helped a little bit. I hope that you remember that you 
an incredible soul and that you are doing an amazing job growing. Good evening. I like to take a few minutes to talk about relate to you somehow. So this is a vintage watch. It's a beautiful piece. It's not particularly ostentatious, but it was handmade. It doesn't keep perfect time, but it's beautiful in its own way. Now, the pocket watch doesn't think about all the things that it isn't. It doesn't wonder why it's not a digital watch, or why it's not a big grandfather clock, why it isn't Big Ben, or anything equally as large and loud and impressive. Instead, it just exists as it is and we appreciate it and enjoy it for exactly what it is what if we could see ourselves in the same way or maybe not see ourselves to just exist to be this amazing little pocket watch perfect as we are. We don't need improvements. We don't need refinement. We don't need to be something else. We don't need to become a better version of this pocket watch. What if we are fine just as we are? What if we're amazing? And the more you think about it, we spend so much of our time analyzing who we are, where we are in life. What have we done? What have we accomplished? And never celebrate the fact that we're alive. We can experience things every single day, wonderful things. And instead we bog ourselves down, we weigh ourselves down with everything that we're not. very moment you're alive and you're awesome wow well, Ben I can see that you had a little bit of trouble growing you're not quite as tall as your friends but that's okay because I'm here to help you now I'm gonna look in my bag let's see what do I want? Ah, the first thing we're gonna do is get some of your dust off of your petals, okay? Ready? Just dust, 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 dust. Dust, 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 dust. Does that feel better? Good. Come on. What will I do? Oh, I know. How about some fruit? 
food. All plants like fertilizer, don't they? We're just going to pop one of these in your soil right there. And another one there. And the third one there. Does that feel better? Hmm. You don't seem like you're in the mood to grow. What else can we do? Oh, I know. How about some water? All living things like water. There. Now you're not so thirsty. That didn't seem to help either. What else can we do? I know. I'm going to try some affirmation magic with you. I'm going to tell you some positive things about yourself. Now the magic is you have to believe them. Okay. Let's go. Flowers always make people better, happier, and more helpful. They're sunshine, food, and medicine for the soul. It worked! That's wonderful. Let's try another one. Okay? Hmm. You are a miraculous and unique creation. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. You grow even through the dirt. Your roots are very strong. Wonderful. You're almost at the level with your friends now. Let's do one last one, okay? How about this? Are you enough? Yes, you definitely are. Oh, that's the best magic. Knowing that you believe in yourself and how beautiful you are. And now you're the same level as your friends. I guess my job here is done. Hi friend. Thanks for meeting me for a walk at my local daffodil field. It's so nice to come out here in the spring and appreciate all the new growth and change. Well, yeah, of course I mean the daffodils. Also mean you, silly. And me. I think you often don't give yourself enough credit for all the small changes and growth you've made over the year. No matter how small, they all add up to you constantly being a better version of yourself than you used to be. It's easy to see growth in other places, like in friends or in nature, but to miss it in yourself. Think about where and who we were this time last year, and think of all the positive ways you've grown. Take a minute to really think about it. Like I said, even the little things, because everyone has to start somewhere. What were you doing last spring? 
did you maybe start trying to get outside for walks more often? How about fall? Any new school or work-related feats? And winter. Winter can be hard. But perhaps you got some indoor tasks done since the weather kept you cooped up. Now, if you didn't think of a ton of little ways in which you grew and got awesome at, then you need to be more kind to yourself and realize how well you are really doing. You get up each and every single day and try your best, and that's all anyone can ask for. Things might not always turn out absolutely perfect, but as long as you're trying your best and learning and growing from each and every experience life throws your way, you are doing great. You need to not compare yourself to others, but to the past you whose butt you are constantly kicking. When you feel like you aren't doing so well, or measuring up, think of what you tell a friend saying the same thing about themselves. You'd be kind and caring, and I'm sure you would tell them they're doing their best, and that's all that matters. So you need to offer yourself that same kindness. Would past you be impressed? with where you are now, probably, even when there are things you could have worked on more, don't dwell on those things. Think about the things you did change and make better. You can always work on the other things in the future, but you have to appreciate what you've accomplished already. We're all only humans after all. Just working to grow and be a better version of ourselves each and every day. I personally believe there's no such thing as perfect. Everyone has something to work on. So if you're working hard to better yourself, that is perfect. I want you to go out there and make today the fantastic day you deserve. Just try your best and know that is enough and that is awesome.
asking for help is a sign of self-awareness, not weakness. Asking responsible for myself. I am responsible for myself and I'm in charge of how I feel. I am worthy of investing in myself. I am worthy of investing in myself. soft in my heart and firm in my boundaries. I can be soft in my heart and firm in my boundaries. That one speaks to me quite a lot because I'm the type of person that likes to be as kind as possible and will do anything for anyone. And I will help out something that I've learned to do over the years in terms of sort of learning when to say no and that is, is what your boundaries are it's when you're you're ready to, to say no to things and realising how far you can push yourself both intrinsically and extrinsically so I can be soft in my heart and I can help people but I'm firm in my boundaries I grow towards my interests like a plant raging for the sun. I also think that that one needs a bit of context because we all have interests, different interests, and we all have things that we like to do. I think interest is a very good analogy and hobbies and things like that to imagine as a flower because we all have hobbies that sort of come and go you know for me I like football and some sports but the older I've got and the more things that have interrupted I, I can't do anymore and you need to realise that sometimes it flowers at a certain, certain stage and the flower tends to towards the end of its life and it will rebud maybe as something different so I grow towards my interests like a plant reaching for the sun grow into it make sure you allow it to flower and enjoy it when it does thanks guys hi I'm going to brush you know that everything
is going to be okay this spring. So, I want you to close your eyes and just imagine that every brushstroke is a rain of particles wiping out all the negative
Thank you.